Hello, welcome back everybody. Short Ride with a Stud, number 99. Uh, this one, my goodness, this is a, this is a real classic here. Uh, this is from probably 19, I think, 81. Uh, it's uh, with Mr. Saito, Japanese guy, and uh, Ken Lucas. Ken Lucas, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, probably. And uh, so, uh, and uh, Saito, it kind of begins with Saito uh, uh, to putting the guy to sleep. And, uh, and then just walking off and leaving him, and, uh, and Lucas is at the set, and uh, Lucas uh, uh, saves the guy's life, basically. Lucas goes right up to the ring and says, hey, you can't do that. This guy's going to die. He'll have a hemorrhage here or whatever. So uh, you're going to see Lucas go there, and then Lucas is going to come back, and he's going to watch a match between him and Saito. Uh, great stuff here. Let's take a look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, this event, one fall television time remaining, introducing at 230 pounds from Pascagoula, Mississippi, Tommy Yates. Tommy Yates, his opponent at 245 from Tokyo, the Southeastern heavyweight champion, Mr. Saito. Saito against Tommy Yates. Television time remaining. Saito with a final carry takedown on Tommy H. Joining me for the commentary, former Southeastern heavyweight champion and still holder of the Alabama title, Ken Lucas. Well, I held him. Uh, I held two titles at uh, one time, and you know it's hard to keep up with. You got guys like Faithful Rose, Condry, Golden Bass. Uh, they're all digging at you and everything, but I still am the Alabama state champion. But right now, my main concern, Charlie, is watching this Mr. Saito. You know he's a very, very tough man, and the man knows he's wrestling. Uh, the gentleman he's in there with right now has got a headlock on Saito, but Saito is the type of guy that he just about knows what you're going to do. He can fill the body. He's very, very talented. And uh, very, very, very strong man. I've heard the reports that he does bench presses are close to 450, 500 pounds. And uh, you see right there, he took him down. He's right behind him. He's always stays in very, very good position. His conditioning shows in the ring, Ken. He, he's a very, very strong man. Besides being strong, he knows he's wrestling. He's a very, very smart man. And you, and you don't make no mistakes. Uh, today, it boils down in professional wrestling that the mistakes means a lot. And when you make one of those final mistakes, it can cost you a match. Saito now moving around. See, Saito with his wrestling, a guy like Yates there, I don't think he's got uh, as much, you could say, uh, amateur background as Saito. Saito will wear a guy down, rides, take down leg sweeps, uh, keep moving on him, fireman's carry, and he'll tire him out. Then he's pretty well got him in his command. I met him head on, Saito likes to wrestle, I like to wrestle too, but my main concern is to get that belt back and to prove a point to him that I can put him asleep with my sleeper hole. Saito, very quick man in the ring, going into grips again with a See, he's got a bear, a bear hug. hug. He's right. got a bear hug right there. And he's putting that pressure on him. That lower back, let me tell you right now, it hurts. Nice move, very, very nice move. Nice counter, he got him right there. Excuse me, with a hip toss. But you see Saito's looking at him, you can tell what he's thinking. He's thinking, my friend, I'm just going to wear you down. There you got, ooh, front face lock and a takeover right there, and that's a hard, hard hold. Yates is doing very, very well against this man, Saito. You can see right there, take down again. He's trying to break him down to get him tired, Charlie, and that's just what he's doing. With the right, it's Saito. You know, a lot of people don't realize, excuse me, Charlie, when you've got a man like Saito that can bench press 450, 500 pounds, he's got the wrestling back, back, uh, background, the knowledge that he's got, and he gets on top of you like this, he's got that leg hook and that arm hot, it, uh, hook, excuse me, it's hard to get a man that weighs 250 pounds off your back unless you've got some real knowledge, and that's what he's doing. He's got this man tired right now. He's got his wind cut off, he's got him tired. The left arm and the right leg were sure. tied up all at once. And see right here, he's got him through, and he's got this man, he's got him hooked real, real well in the legs, and he keeps putting that pressure on on that lower back to tire him out. He's walking him down. Saito, of course, uh, former Japanese Olympic wrestler. And, uh, and as we said many times, Ken, the different styles this man knows and how he can uh, operate in that ring is uh, almost unbelievable. He's it a is great athlete. Stays in fantastic condition. He's, he's slowly wearing Yates down. He's, he's taking his time. Saito's not in a hurry. He knows what he's got to do. And uh, he's, he's very tough. Oh, good point. Arm twist dragging into that. Oh, turn. Well, he 
caught him right there. Did you see that, Charlie? He caught him. Boy, I mean, he caught him hard, too. Side to rattle the marble from the head. On top of things. Double chop. Double chop coming down and into the throat. Say to a very dangerous man in the ring, Ken. There's that trap there. I'll tell you, there it takes out of you. When you get hit, the, hit on those trapezium muscles with the, with a double chop like that, it takes a lot out of you, Charlie, because those trapezium muscles control the whole lower back and your nerve centers. Saito stalking his man, takes him up by the hair in the turnbuckle. Oh, man, he's, boy, I'll tell you what, that'll take it out of you. Them, them chops, boy, he's caving that chest right in, boy. He's putting permanent hurt on that man right there, and there's that double chop on those trapezium muscles again. Again, it's wearing him down, Charlie. Saito continues the punishment. Saito picks his man up. And another hard chop into the throat there area. Goes. I think he's going into it. The, yes, he is. He's got it. He's got it right there. He's got the sleeper. Hold on. There is a sleeper. He's got it on him right there. A variation from the one that Ken Lucas uses. Yes, he's going right on the side of the neck. Mine's right around the front. And I still block off the same nerve area, but it's just applied just a little bit different. He's got him down now, and I'm afraid it's going to be lights out. He won't get away from that. Two... Three. It's, it's over. over. Yes, it is. It's over, and your winner of the match from Tokyo, the Southeastern Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Saito, finally relinquishing the sleeper. And uh, now the very important part of waking the man back up. It is I great. can't believe this. You mean to tell me this man ain't going to wake him up again? He's going to have somebody really get hurt. I can't believe it. Ken Lucas. Ken Lucas upset, and uh, rightfully so. Sleeper, very dangerous hole. And the man has to be brought back around very shortly. There it is. And now Saito jumps on Lucas. Right there. Ken Lucas puts his patented sleeper on Saito. Rose and Tondry coming out, pulling Saito out. But uh, you winner of the match, Mr. Saito, and we'll be back. Wow. I mean, uh, Great times back in those days. Well, you had two great guys like that, uh, Mr. Saito, Ken Lucas, uh, that type of talent. Pretty amazing. Uh, and uh, we really appreciate uh, y'all joining us. And, uh, and thank you for the great comments. And uh, we're going to bring you another one.